In this video, I just want to explain a little bit about what we're doing in the check columns and prediction columns of our uh, naive Bayes calculations. So the check column is actually super simple. All I'm doing is summing the uh, probability of a no against the probability of a yes as we've calculated those. And those should always equal one. So I do this just to make sure that I haven't made some mistake along the way that brings that out of, out of balance. Those should always equal one. So all we're doing is summing uh, the two different probabilities for each category of that we're trying to predict. So there's really no magic there. Once we know that these um, probabilities are you know, consistent with each other, then we want to figure out you know, which, wh where should we predict? And obviously we want to predict the one that is uh, greater. So in the case of the first example, uh, we would obviously predict no because the probability of a no is 0.54 and the probability of a yes is 0.45. So 0.54 is larger, uh, that's the no case. So we want it to report a no for our prediction. So the way we get that done in Excel is we use the if function and the if function expects three things. It first expects a logical test, which is an equation that evaluates to true or false. In this case, the equation that we're using is if M2 is greater than N2, then, uh, the value that we should output is the word no, and that's why we see no there. If that condition is not true, then we should output a yes. And when we do that, we get our sort of categorical label based on which probability is higher. And that's um, pretty much what we're doing there.